Yeah, right look at that we're bang on a hundred hours actually better get it in for a service rod <laughs> I was wondering when that was about to happen it's like getting a bill isn't it let's go for the quick run out we'll just wait till he gets up to temp always nice to the engine but winds down looks pretty good hopefully this is nice at the mouth of the uh, bar <laughs> should be good
<laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> well, it's a little brisk still, but uh, yeah, that wind chill factor, that's all. But uh, we can get this guy off now, through the bar we are. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a little, oh, look at all those birds taking off. I don't think they're hitting fish or anything, I think they're just milling around there. Going back to their home of the island. So let's turn that off spin us around but yeah welcome welcome to what is hopefully a beautiful day fishing but I think um it was a little rough to get bait in near the uh, sand pumping jetty there so the waves are sort of breaking a little bit and just because it's dead low tide it's very uh, choppy and all over the side very sloppy so we'll head over here we'll see if we can get some baits and then I guess we're gonna head out I don't really have a plan all I know all I know is I saw a guy catch a Spanish here very recently and it's kind of the end of winter which is that's pretty rare you know like so i reckon we yeah we'll get some liveies we'll go out a bit wider and we'll see what it's like and then um we'll make a call as to whether we sort of concentrate on some snapper we can catch snapper here we're in new south wales we're not in queensland so there's no close season so i guess yeah let's get on with it so get the live bait tank fired up uh, probably should take all that stuff out of it as well. Just put it on the highway. We don't want to blow it out. Tap on. A lot of people uh, have asked about the live bait well. So there's just there is a pump down the bottom which I can turn on with this switch just here, wherever it is, and then it'll pump in. But I don't even need to do that because once we start moving like this, just the pressure of the water against that pipe underneath there will be enough to start filling it. And it's very simple, the water comes in this pipe, gets pushed up and in, and then it goes and flows out the outlet here. So it just circulates through there. And once we get moving, I'll show you it filling up. There we go. You don't even have to be moving that quick and it pushes in. Find some liveys. Let's see. Just waiting for something to come up on the sounder. I might need to head a bit further up that way. There's all the birds. Very vocal today. Let's see, spot lock it. <laughs> Hopefully, we're onto something here. Because uh, without bait, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Oh, we've got a nibble on something there. I don't think we actually managed to pick it up there, but that's promising. Yeah. No, we're definitely on a patch though. Look, you can see we're on a patch. So, I'm assuming we're going to get some. Here we go. Hopefully not pomfrance. Okay, yeah. So we've got something. Oh, it's pulling like crazy. What have we got? Big. <laughs> wow, he's really putting in a bit of effort here. Maybe it's just a few, but it feels like one fish, actually. <laughs> it is, and the reason he's feeling big is because he is a Taiwan. <laughs> of all things <laughs> yeah right mate very good but that's definitely not what we're after <laughs> big brimba oh okay well, we're off come on buddy you can go back cool looking little fish though you beauty <laughs> see you buddy Choo! all right Try that again. Hopefully a bait fish next. 
because we don't want to fill up with those. <laughs> but, as we know something's biting. Okay, we're onto something now. Coming up more bait like. Come on, what do we got? And we got a pike. No, it's alright, it's alright. I'll take a pike. Spanish will eat those, no problems. Pike, you just don't break my hooks off and we'll be happy, mate. These guys have got pretty sharp teeth. Once they get going, they'll bite jigs and sinkers and everything off. That's a good bait. That's a good Spanish bait for sure. No, oh, sorry, buddy. Okay, come on. In you go. That wind is picking up a fair bit though. Not very excited about that. Oh, oh, I've got something big again. <laughs> big fight. <laughs> Gotta love the Beijing. Oh, okay, here we got. Got like a little emperor or something. Here we go. No, it's not a grass. Hang on, no, it's an emperor. Here we go. Ah, but come on. Let's not get every hook in us. Ah, uh, buddy. Come on, you're not making this easy for me at all. Ah, okay, he's gone. Now we have to just make sure we don't tangle the jig because that sucks. <laughs> See if we can get back on it a little bit more. Yeah, that wind is definitely picking up and that rainbow means that there's a bit of moisture coming down as well. So, <laughs> let's see how we go here. We might not be going quite as far as I thought we would, but we'll see. Well, something's feisty down there. Jeez, please don't be an emperor. Oh, another pike. That's all right. Oh. oh, and he's put himself off. Perfect pike. Well done. That's the way we want it. We got one. Oh, we got two. <laughs> wow. Two very undesirables. <laughs> An interesting looking little guy. Okay, see ya. Come on, buddy. Okay, and if you're wondering why they call them grinners, check out that smile, eh? Beautiful. <laughs> See you, buddy. These are definitely not the baits we want, though, so I'm gonna have to do a bit better than that. Yeah, we'll move around a bit, I think. Look at the rainbow now, wow, look at that. Full rainbow. <laughs> That's pretty glorious, actually, look at that, wow. Amazing. So you're getting bigger, <laughs> but definitely not, uh, Look, if this guy got big enough, this guy would actually be a really good eating fish. But, definitely not what we were hoping to get. Look how stiff and crazy they go when uh, <laughs> get him out of the water. Come on, buddy. So, Maori cod. Very cool fish, but not what we're looking for. Still looking for bait. Here we go. Oh, jeez. Whatever we do have, I think we've got a couple this time should be nice. Let's make this bait thing a little easier. Oh no, not you guys. Pomfret. <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe bait might not be that easy to come by today. Pomfret, we'll let you go. The best thing about these guys is they're not spiky. So they're so easy to get off the hook. So that's definitely something. Okay. No Pomfret, no Pomfret, no Pomfret. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. <laughs> That's a lot of bomb fruits. Uh, is it another one or? No, nah, it's something else. Looks like a little goat fish. You're much bigger, mate. You, you, if we got a couple of you, you were apparently delicious. Oh, geez, here's a good one, actually. They do get a little bit, little bit bigger and we'd be <laughs> keeping you, I think, mate. Bit of a prized fish, look at him, look how fired up he is, wow, amazing colours. If you're a little bigger and we already got two or three of you on that line, 
Oh, you're awesome, mate. Eh? Far out. Good looking little fish. But I think we're going to have to move spots. Look, we've got those two pike, plus I kept a couple of pomfret. So I guess we should get fishing because we're going to miss the tide change. We're going to miss all that good time. Hmm, wonder what they are. Some big things on the sound of there. We'll definitely drag our pike through those. See what we come up with. And those other baits are zipping around just over there still. So it feels lively. Definitely feels lumpy though as well. So <laughs> hopefully we can get a big fish and then maybe maybe move in closer and see if we can find some calmer waters as well. Yeah, that's windy. I was just motoring back in because it's absolutely terrible out there. I was getting really windy and then I got snagged on the bottom and I've just come all the way out here. Oh. All right, we just went over a big patch of bait again. I'm pretty confident this will be a slimy. Yes, there we go. Let's get you in and get straight back in there. Oh, look at that bait. That is a primo bait. And it's a yucca. It's all right, take a yucca too. You want the slimies? Who have we got? He's coming up. Yo, slimy. Beauty. So, I'm going to get you on. Oh. Alright, let's troll over the main part of the reef. Because as you can see, there's plenty of good ground to cover here. And we'll go over there and hopefully something will smack this big slimy while we get to our favourite snapper spots on the other side. Here's a cool sailboat. Looks like a metal hull. Wonder where he's been. Probably all around the world. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. One hell of a hit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. Wow, wow. <laughs> that is one hell of a decent hit. Oh. Something is just wallop that bait. That's a very, very big hit. Oh no. I hope it hasn't run over towards that. There's a whale just there as well. It can't be the whale, not with that pace. Oh, there's whales coming out. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know where the line's going, but hopefully it's not going to go straight over those whales. Uh, I'm not sure how this is going to work out. Hopefully he's a little lower in the water because there's whales right there. Maybe it could be a cobia, maybe... No, no cobia runs that fast. Maybe it's a tuna. Oh. Oh, he's going around this way now. Maybe another long tail, maybe that's what it could be. <laughs> Real proper run. Maybe you can turn this off for now. Turn the engine off. See if we can work it in. Oh, those whales are right there. I think he's cleared the whales though, which is good. Oh, he's running back this way. Is he? Is it? He? <laughs> he's definitely came back this way quickly then. He's darting around. Jeez, he took some line though, because uh, that uh, I had color braid on, and then I had this as a backing. Now we just see. Look, we've just got back the color braid. Okay, 
try and stick this in this rod holder. Ugh. Hopefully that's going to get some footage. I put money on long tail, the way he's starting to bounce around. Definitely uh, got some beans, doesn't he? He's taking that line again. We'll let him go for a little bit of fun just while until we work him back. It's our turn, is it? Oh. A little different then. Oh, we made some good gains. <laughs> there he is. That looked like a long tail fin to me. You don't want to go too hard though when we know it's a good fish like that. I'd rather get it in than pull hooks. We're definitely making ground on him. Straight arm for a second. Ooh, he's going straight down now. Now this becomes a tuna fight. Straight down and circle work. Jeez, not letting up, is he? That other fish, there's another fish right there hanging with him. Hopefully, it's not a shark or someone trying to steal him. Oh, oh no, where's he going? That's no good, that's no good, that's no good. Oh, oh, you almost got stuck on the anchor there. So, I'll keep him away from the boat on this side. You don't want any bust off there. Yeah, what is that? Is that a cobia? What is that? I think there's another big fish just there. Stay away from the side of the boat. Here's the big question. Is he bigger than the one on the kayak? I think he might be. Because the effort I'm putting in here is significant. Here we go. Bust off on the boat, no bust off on the boat. Oh, geez, he's big. Where's that gaff?
Come on. There he is. Oh. Oh. I got Yeah, he's bigger than the uh, he's bigger than the one we got on the kayak the other day. Right, we we'll just let him continue to bleed out for a sec. Okay, wow, that's a big one. He'd be at least 130. He's a good one. Wow, what a fight, bro. <laughs> Definitely, maybe at least another 10, at least bigger than the uh, the one I got on the kayak the other week, or well, a couple of weeks ago now. And there's actually something I want to try with Tuno, actually, and I want to try and do a bit of dry aging. So, this is actually the perfect fish for now. Wow, epic! You know what, let's just keep him in there like that. It needs to be a little cool and we might hightail it back. Wow, okay. Well, we've given that a little bit, a bit of a clean. We've got our tuna here, but he's not really in the ice. If I close the ice it's not really gonna keep him cold. So I reckon fish like that definitely don't need another one, so. I think we'll uh, hightail it back in. We've got to get it back around that headland there and back into the bar. So, yeah, I think we've done well. <laughs> and we might get home and do a little bit of a cook up. But uh, yeah, amazing, amazing fish. And uh, definitely not a bad size. Because look, he's, he's well and truly out of the esky. Oh. Turn that off so we're not continually draining all our things. And we might keep that slimy, but we'll get rid of the other guys. There we go. Oh, bro. Not that way. Okay, pike in. <laughs> and yakka one, yakka two. You guys get to go free. That way we get home without the extra weight. And they're easier to catch out. And while we're moving along, completely drain it off as well. Okay. We are tuna rich. <laughs> On the swell. We're just right in the back of these swells all the way in. in there <laughs> but we're just letting that blood drain out more we'll grab this one just because we only just want a small segment so we're not going to do the full fillet right now but we're just going to get a chunk off and see if we can do this without falling off pretty special don't mind this blood bit obviously that's uh, congealed a little bit but it's actually pretty amazing looking right now but I just want a section because we're just going to make some lunch out of it so we'll just cut straight in
Oop, stuck. <laughs> wow. Doesn't that look cool? And it's a lot of beautiful tuna here. But you know what? We might get that blood line out because the cattle like that right now. And we'll get a couple of little cat cuts. Make sure we're not wasting any. Wow, what a treat, huh? <laughs> and look at that. Look at that perfect little medallion. Medallioning. <laughs> Beautiful. Pretty much just hang this straight back up in the uh, the fridge, and uh, when I've got more time, I'll break it down a bit more. Change plans. The guy next door is using the blower, <laughs> so maybe we'll just come in here and do this. Alright, well we've got our fish ready, but um, yeah, so uh, Twan's home for lunch today as well, and I thought, you know what, we've got such nice tuna, that why don't we do, we were going to do like some kind of sandwichy thing for lunch anyway, but now that we've got the tuna, we were thinking maybe like some kind of salady, baguette kind of roll and then we were like oh like maybe a, like a niswa salad because we've got this tuna but we're going to do a sort of a funny take on it and we're going to do more of a baguette and we're going to make it into more of a sandwich filling rather than just a salad on a plate so we've got a super fresh tuna we're just going to basically salt and pepper that cut up some ingredients we'll get this back on actually and get that water boiling again because we'll need some eggs and potatoes and then it's pretty much a quick blanch of the beans or that we might even just mix the beans through the potato we're going to make a bit of a potato salad with it and then we'll make a nice delicious sandwich filling and then we'll crumble that fish in there Probably should just stop them dead. Nothing worse than overcooked green. And could be black or Kalamata, but this is what we've got olive wise, so this should be fun. Pips or no pips? Pips. <laughs> save the water because we don't want to boil the water again. <laughs>
We want the tuna cooked all the way through, but only just. And then parsley. We're just going to use mustard. I know it's meant to be Dijon, but we don't have that, so we're just going to use the mustard that we have. And we're going to cheat a little bit and we're going to use the tiniest amount of mayo as well. Oh. It's going to be one hell of a sandwich. <laughs> I think that's going to be all we can fit on. Just just grab it with hands. Should have bought a bit more baguettes. You've got plenty of food. We'll cut two up. I don't think we'll need more than two. Oh, it's a good egg. My word, that's one good looking sandwich. <laughs> All right, well, top's on, let's cut it in half, I guess. <laughs> that's amazing looking, let's do it. Okay. Oh, geez. I don't wanna spill the innards. Mm. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be hard to eat. You should have invited someone over. Yeah, it's a pretty big sandwich. <laughs> That's alright. That's alright. I'm pretty hungry. I haven't eaten all day. Pretty serious sandwich, isn't it? I don't even know how I'm gonna pick it up. Uh oh. I'm struggling with the top of bread. Yeah, I need to really like hold it together, but not get my hands too dirty. Like that. I feel like it could be mm. an open sandwich. It's amazing. You know what it actually is? It tastes exactly like a Niswas tuna, like meal you would get, like a Niswas salad, but there's some bread. But it's pretty special actually. More olives. More olives, you reckon? Mm. Yeah? Okay. Fair call. It's pretty epic though. And it's approved. Time, you approve? Yeah. That might not be even. <laughs> mm, it's good. Anyway, I, we're gonna enjoy this. It is actually pretty epic, but it's gonna it's gonna get messy. So <laughs> let's um we'll just get stuck into it and uh I'll see you on the next one. See ya.